up guys? We are here today at Laguna Seca. Finally, it has been a long road to get here, to getting the car exactly to where it needed to be or as best as it could be. But we're here at Laguna today. We got a nice paddock set up and uh, right on the other side of us is the track. It's a lot of other cars that made it out today, including a lot of our friends and customers from NorCal Skylines. This is our paddock setup right here. We've got my 32 right here in front of us. Some other cars, other customer cars. Some of the NorCal Skyline guys coming through here. This car is absolutely beautiful. I love the blue carbon fiber on it. He's done such a good job on this car. A little engine envy, envy here for me, for sure. Love that catch can set up. So, there's some great cars here today. This one is an absolute beauty. Love these wheels. Got the NorCal Skyline guys gathered around here today. And, of course, real nice setup here today at Laguna Seca. I cannot wait to be on the track. It's gonna be so fun. And of course, our friend Jack E here, who puts on ours day, uh, made the trek up from SoCal also with his super sick R32. All right, guys, we're getting set for the first session of the day. Uh, so the car's all ready to go. I'm gonna hop in and see how it does for the very first time driving at Laguna Seca and also the first time on a track since uh, doing the upgrades that we did in the previous videos. Check back in with you when I'm back off the track. We're back in from the first session, parted pretty good, felt really well, so uh, happy with it for sure. Uh, thanks again, Sean, for getting it to that point. Uh, I didn't break anything, so that's great, uh, or I haven't broken anything yet, but uh, some other cars coming back in from it. There's some that are down. Some of our NorCal Skyline friends are working on their cars right now, but there's some wild things still hanging out around here, so I wanna show you guys this R35. That is pretty sick. I don't want to bother these guys where they're working, but this thing is absolutely wild. Oof. That is a serious R35. All right, I gotta show one thing here. Look at this setup. <laughs> this, is, this is trackside hot pot, bro. This is how trackside you do it. hot pot. Wow, what a setup. <laughs> All right guys, so we're two more sessions in and uh, it's been going pretty well. I think uh, my lap time has improved and improved and improved uh, time after time after time, except for this last one that I was off by about a second and a half, but it's been going better, so I'm getting better. Uh, again, not the fastest person here today, obviously, also not the slowest, so that's pretty good, I guess. And the car itself is doing really, really well. So super happy with the way that the car is running and driving. I have a lot more confidence in it now. I've been pushing it pretty hard. I've got some really awesome footage, uh, dash cam footage, thanks to Nextbase who put in a dash cam for me today. Uh, that's recorded both ways. So I'll put a link to that uh, below in the video here. But I've got one more session today. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that, seeing if I can beat my time uh, from all of the previous sessions. And if I can, great. If I can't, also great too and uh looking forward to the next track day for nissan challenge and also really looking forward to being back up here at laguna in a couple weeks for car weeks with radford which should be super cool but uh on to the next round and i'll check in after
hot. Tires are a little melted, and uh, had some toilet paper stuck to my tire. All right guys, just got done with the last session of the day. Uh, I think it went really well, I haven't seen my time yet, but uh, again, happy with the car. I pushed it a little hard, hit the rev limiter, so hopefully I didn't hurt it. Seems to be pretty okay right now, so uh, I guess we'll find out because we got a seven hour drive home and I uh, really hope that we make it there. So I'm gonna check on the car, watch some more of the races and uh, wait for my lap time. All right guys, we are back here at the shop today. Made it back, six hour drive back. It got a little bit longer because there's some traffic uh, near Malibu in the beach cities, but the car did overall really, really well. Um, I'm actually really surprised. I did not think I was gonna be able to drive this thing all the way up, track it five sessions, uh, and then drive it all the way back down to Southern California. I mean, that alone is about 12 hours of just being on the road. Plus, while I was up there, obviously drove around Monterey and Carmel and a bunch of other driving, so put a lot of miles on the car this weekend, but I, the car did really, really, really well. There's a few things that I definitely want to change. Uh, I want to do R35 coil packs. I want to put in two oil coolers because my oil temperatures were way up there. So I'm using Pennzoil 1060, which I know I told you guys about in an earlier video. Uh, that has been great because it is engineered to hold up much better in higher temperatures. But even still, my oil temperatures are getting really, really hot. So I want to put on two oil coolers. So I'm gonna use the Gretti oil coolers um, just for some extra protection and some dual cooling, keep those oil temps down. Uh, and then also some small things like my AC wasn't working and also my heat's not working. I tried to turn on the heat while I was sitting in traffic because that's usually a good way to kind of help cool things down. But in this instance, there was no heat coming out of the car. So I wasn't able to uh, cool the car that way. So thankfully there was a nice breeze when things got moving again and I could bring the temperature of the car back down. But that's something we're definitely gonna look into before we go into the next one. And then finally, I want some new tires. So right now I'm running the uh, Advan 8008s on this car, which is a great street tire um, and also acceptable for the track. But on my Supra, I have the AO52s. And I really think that I wanna switch over to the AO52s because I'm not driving this car on the street as much as I thought I was going to be driving it on the street. So the AO52 makes a lot more sense for the track. And maybe I'll put the ADO5, the ADO8 or the new ADO9s on the Supra since that car realistically is never going to see the track. The PPF held up really, really well, which why wouldn't it? Milan did a great job. Definitely saved me from a lot of rock chips. The brake dust on this is really, really built up. So we're gonna go ahead and get these cleaned up. And I think when I take these tires off uh, to put the new tires on, I'll probably get these wheels ceramic coated because uh, it'll make things a lot easier to clean up. Again, the endless MX-72 pads are what I'm using. Brake dust all over the place, but really, overall happy with how the car did and uh didn't have to use my fire extinguisher but we'll do another video on this this was super cool this is a new dash cam setup that i got up from next base um it worked great that's what the video that you saw me driving on the track from the interior was so I'll go over that because I really think that is a worthwhile purchase if you're going to be doing any mountain driving canyon driving track driving, all of that kind of stuff seems to record really, really well. I was overall happy with the quality of how that turned out. And also just one final big thank you to all of these people who helped me get the car to where it is today. Big shout out to Yokohama and to Pennzoil, of course, uh, for hanging in there with me. And we will see you guys in the next one when I start ordering some of the parts that I need and making the upgrades that I need to make in order to get this thing better and better and better.